thanks uh, for visiting my channel. I recently uh, posted the still life uh, that I did in watercolor on my website at jcpace-art.com uh, and initially I hadn't posted it because I wasn't happy with the outcome and I actually painted this and did the video at the same time about a few years ago. Anyway, I came across it and once I looked at it, I didn't think it was that bad. So I decided uh, to post the video on YouTube and uh, also on, on my website. I, I, actually, this is a... Uh, actually, this is a, a still life that I rendered from the photograph. Not, uh, not my own. I actually found it. On, on Google Images one time, but I'm not able to give attribution because I did it so long ago I'm not able to find the original. Anyway, I painted this on arches, uh, uh, the heavy paper, not the 130 gram, but the he heaviest paper on a, on a half panel. Uh, I uh, did the sketch, I just transferred the sketch uh, from Photoshop in pencil and then started painting it. Uh, with watercolor. I did it in quite a few layers. I found that, uh, and I used uh, mop head brushes, which, you know, they hold a lot of water and they're quite nice uh, uh, to do a large uh, sort of areas, to, to color in large areas. And uh, I, uh, you know, at the time I wasn't happy. I didn't think that uh, it uh, looked good, but I think with time, I've actually got to quite like this, so uh, the, uh, this is a, a bit of a longer video, so you can see how my, what my work pr workflow is like and where I've, uh, how I've gone about adding the different layers. I find that uh, with a, a flat brush or a mop head, if you uh, let the layer dry properly, you can then uh, add, add another layer without affecting the bottom layer. Otherwise, if you don't want any activation from the previous layer you can give it a coat of acrylic medium but I find that then if you add acrylic, acrylic medium you can't carry on working in watercolor you need to, to move to acrylic wash or, or acrylics themselves enjoy